So the story is Halle Berry is bereaved, uh, Benicio del Toro is, re- is recovering, David Duchovny's dead. So, hey. When, when does he die? Uh, he dies the, before the beginning of the film, but we see him in flashback. And the point is that after he's died, Halle Berry asks his drug addict friend, played by Benicio del Toro, to move into the garage. Because, of course, somebody, a middle class family, looked like that, would obviously, after the, in the wake of your husband's death, say a really good idea would be to move a junkie into the uh, garage uh, and give them free access to the children. And all the friends around the neighbourhood would be very understanding. would say, hey, that's great, fine, so you're a recovering junkie and please have a job. And so it's one of those films that, you know, it's like she was on a voyage of discovery he was crawling out of the pit together they discovered that there's more to life than it. and it's just like pfft. and the woman who made it is a Danish filmmaker some of her Danish films have been very very well respected and you sit there thinking well it's not terrible it's worthy and earnest and you know and there's a scene there's a drying out scene and all that cold turkey whatever you call it and he, yeah, uh, going cold turkey yeah. going cold turkey and it's been largely overlooked at all the award ceremonies which kind of makes it rather pointless because what did the, they lose in the fire? Everything and yet nothing, because in the end, the only thing they lost in the fire was stuff, and family is more important than did, stuff. Did they start the fire, or was it always burning? We didn't start the fire, since but the it's always burning since the world was turning. Yeah, yeah.